The Hamas terror group in Gaza is reportedly issuing an ultimatum to Israel. Let in millions in Qatari cash or violence will spike again. All right, later this week, a Qatari envoy is expected to bring in a new installment of funds for Gazans. Now, that has happened several times before, but it is controversial. Following it for us from the Israel-Gaza border is our defense correspondent, Daniel Temach. Daniel, as we mentioned, this kind of installment of Qatari cash, it's not a new thing, but it is controversial. Gaza in a dire humanitarian situation, but critics say it's just passing money to a terror group. Absolutely, Nareed, and we actually heard from uh, several potential Israeli political leaders attacking Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for the ongoing arrangement of the transfer of those funds. But it has to be said, uh, after speaking to uh, officials, security officials, as well as some polit uh, politicians here, there's nothing that suggests that Israel will actually prevent that transfer of money, which is expected on Thursday, along with that Qatari envoy is expected to enter uh, the Gaza Strip this coming Thursday. But as you mentioned, we are hearing a report from from Lebanese-based uh, outlet Al-Akbar, which does suggest, according to a Hamas official, an unnamed official, that if Israel doesn't uphold its side of the bargain when it comes to this ongoing arrangement, which hasn't necessarily been officially uh, commented on by the Israeli government, but it's been an ongoing arrangement, that they will indeed engage in more violence, engage in an escalation. They're also saying that it's not only the money that they're waiting for, but also transfer of more electricity into the Palestinian enclave. But again, from what we are understanding here in Israel, there's nothing that suggests that that, you, uh, that Qatari envoy will not be allowed entry into the Gaza Strip and that those 20 some million dollars will not be uh, de delivered to those needy families in the Gaza Strip. And Daniel, when you say escalation and violence, are we talking about mainly those protests, often violent at the border? And if so, how does Hamas operate there at the fence? Well, it could manifest itself in numerous ways, as we've seen in the past week, or even as we've seen earlier today, when there were indeed protests near the Kearney crossing, uh, near the Arabs crossing in an area in the northern sector of the Israel-Gaza border, where we're currently located. We understand that it wasn't necessarily such a large protest, but there was some demonstration uh, happening on the Gazan side of the fence without any extreme incidents that did take place. But that is one thing that we could be seeing more of, especially when we look to Friday, more border violence, uh, more infiltration. Now, earlier today, there was a report that uh, circulated in Palestinian media in Gaza that suggested that the Hamas forces that are being uh, really embarked along the Israel-Gaza border on the Gazan side to prevent Palestinians from infiltrating into Israeli territory, that they did operate today in preventing four Gazans from coming into Israeli territory. That's according to Palestinian reports within Gaza. But the escalation could look in a number of different ways, whether it be that protest that we see on a weekly basis on Friday. Friday, whether it be infiltrations or even rocket fire as we saw over this past weekend.